Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Apart. If you're new here, my name is Ashley. Welcome to my channel. So I know next month, which is just right around the corner, it's crazy, we're gonna be doing all of our spring cleaning videos. I feel like I love to get mine out before it gets too warm. That way I can like open up windows and then when all the nice weather comes, I can just be outside enjoying it and not inside cleaning. So I thought today's video would be perfect to share like the best of the cleaning products. Like everything you must have, you need to have, you want to have to make your life easier. That's what we're going to be talking about here today. So if you're new here, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below. I post two new videos every single week and I'd love to have you here. But now let's jump straight into today's video. Okay, just so you're clear, we're going to have like cheap products, expensive products, like spray cleaners, gadgets, we're gonna have it all here. But this is the first one I wanna talk about because I've been using this a lot lately. Um, I also sent it to my sister. Did I send it to her? Did I tell her about it? Anyways, she's using it now. She used it as a Christmas gift and like people went crazy for it. But basically it's just a miracle worker. Like if you get something on your rug, you just spray it and it like disappears. Now, the earlier you can do it, the better. Like if it's something that's set in for a while, it may take a few sprays. Like I'll spray it, walk away, come back and spray it some more. But I've had people write in and say like, wine got on their rug and it made it disappear. Blood. I use it mainly for like pet accidents. That's like our main issue in this house. Um, and follow my link because I feel like I get it for like around $5, but there's a link where it's like 20. I don't know. Those numbers could be a little off, but the link I use is like way cheaper than the other one. And it's still the full size bottle works so well. I feel like every person should have this in their house. And like I said, all you do is spray it. Like you don't rub it, you don't wipe it, you spray it and walk away and it just like disappears, especially like pet urine stains in my white rugs can be an issue. I just spray this and it literally just like makes it disappear. And while we're on the subject of pet stains, we've had some rough days here in the Till Vacuum house. This shampooer I've had for, you know, a couple years. I'm trying to think. I even had it at the last house. So I have had it at least a couple years. Um, is amazing. It's like professional industrial level. Like I feel like it holds a ton. It's just super powerful. Um, we were gone at a comp and a tiger had accidents everywhere, like all over my rugs. I wanted to cry. I thought we were gonna have to buy all new rugs and this guy got it clean. So it says a lot for the rugs, but it says a lot for the machine. So if you have a lot of accidents in your house, whether it's kids, husbands, spouses, friends, dogs, you name it, whatever it is, you definitely need this guy because it cleaned up everything on my white rugs. I also wanted to mention, if you wanna see any of these products live in action, some of them I'm gonna be testing out for you today, but most of them are all gonna be in my spring cleaning videos, so make sure you're subscribed. Um, I just wanted to make sure that if you guys wanted to clean with me, you had time to order the products and get them in. But these are another thing I've been talking about a lot here on my channel. It is so nice for stains. So the main thing I use them for is in our laundry room. I keep them in there. I even keep some next to my daughter's hamper. That way when she has a spot, she can spray it before she throws it her hamper that way when I do her laundry it's already done and I don't miss it so there's a little tip keep these next to your hampers and they're so small you can both worth amazing so if you're gonna get one I know this is the most talked about one um, but I love this one just as well I say grab both try them love them. Um, I even use them on furniture. So I had a bench that I had bought from like home goods. And I feel like anytime you buy furniture from there, you're getting a really good deal, but it typically has a black mark on it. I tried and tried and tried to get it off and couldn't really get it off. I went ahead and sprayed these on it and got it right off like in seconds. So these work really, really well, even on like set in stains. Apparently we have a lot of stains in our house because I do have one more product. Now this is for stains. This is if you need to clean um, like a rug, like a small area. Say you don't want to get your big shampooer out. Maybe there's just one spot you want to clean. Maybe it's on the rug. Maybe it's on a chair. Maybe it's on your bed. Whatever it is, it's if you don't have a whole area. This um, piece right here is amazing. The main reason I love it for stains, I feel like when I'm testing products, I want to know like what's different about this one. Like why do I want this one over the one I had before? And it's because technology gets better and people just get smarter. So see this attachment right here. It has the normal attachment, but I love this one. And this is for pet messes. So when you have to clean up something that's nasty. <laughs> Maybe it's not even a pet. Maybe your kid threw up or something. It stays in this container and doesn't go all the way through your hoses into your machine where it gets smelly and nasty and you have to try to clean out the whole thing. 
it stays right here at this unscrews you dump it out rinse it out and put it back on so to me that is a game changer that's what makes this so different from any other just like spot cleaner um i grab this all the time like i just keep this attachment on it like i said it does have the regular one but this right here game changer another product that i really could not live without in this house is the method um daily wood cleaner i haven't used method in years like i'm a jaws cleaner girl love them and recently i bought some new products it started with this one i bought it and loved it we put a lot of white oak in this house so all of our doors and island i don't know there's just a lot more wood so i felt like i needed a cleaner and i have been so happy with this one it smells so good it cleans so well i feel like it doesn't leave a film on it but after this one i was like hey i love method i forgot about it and i bought like the antibacterial one and an all-purpose cleaner and i do not like them like i was using them and i was like i love this i forgot how nice it is to have the smell but i was walking around and like my countertops you could see a film they were sticky like i had cleaned it up on the tile and sprayed it and my floor was sticky so i went through my whole house and had to like re-clean everything off of it so personally i'm not huge into method but if you need a good wood cleaner i feel like this is where it's at it's a good just daily wood cleaner and i don't feel like i get that build up at, at all so if you have that issue you can use their wood but do not use anything else I have a two products that I use all the time in my house and I feel like they're so underrated. They're finally like becoming a big deal and people are catching on, but Dawn dish soap is already huge. I use it in my laundry room. I use it on my whites. Like all my white sheets stay so clean. I just take the bottle and squeeze it in and then throw my stuff in and it keeps white so white. But this is really good for like cleaning your sinks. I put this on, um, you know anything that has a stain on it so if i feel like i'm not getting a stain out i'll grab this and then throw it my washer really good for bathtubs showers sinks i feel like you can use it on anything so when i had the method build up in here i sprayed this all on it and just used a wet cloth and wiped it all off and it was gone so occasionally i like to do that even if there's not build up i feel like this just has a better clean in it and i love 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 the spray like whoever invented the spray is a genius so i just go around and spray it you don't have to get a ton because it will kind of set up if you have too much and then get a hot wet rag wipe it down and things are just so clean and shiny but the other product is powdered tide laundry detergent the original nothing fancy nothing crazy and it has to be powdered i use that on so much too to like spot clean things I'll get a wet rag and get it hot and then dip it in the powder tide and I can spot clean a rug, um, a chair, anything. It's like one of those things if you don't wanna have a machine, if you just want super easy, you can use it in your laundry, you can use it to clean items around your house. I've cleaned cabinets, doors, computer chairs, tables, like you name it. So if you wanna just be very minimal, grab Dawn and grab a powder tide original. So I keep talking about like cleaning rags. So recently when I was like, or organizing you guys know I don't like color if you've been here any length of time you can tell by what I'm wearing you can tell by my house I just don't love color I don't mind it in cleaning products and then my racks have always been lots of color but I was on Amazon and I was like they have gray cleaning cloths why have I not done this sooner I don't remember how big the pack is I may have got two packs because I think I have like eight um, but they have gray and these work really really well they've washed well I've had these probably a month, month and a half, and I've been really happy with them. So if you're needing cleaning cloths, this is just really nice. It cuts down on like paper waste and like paper towels. It's gonna save you money. Um, and I love having these in my drawer and I love that they're color free. Now, if you like color, grab them. Like Savannah loves purple, so I bought her all the same color of purple. So they have color options, but I was just was so excited when I found them in gray. And then I feel like the next must have rag are these polishing cloths. Um, so these are really good once you're done cleaning or to clean like mirrors and windows um, I spray the products like a glass cleaner and then I wipe it off with this you can also just clean it and go back with this like wipe off your appliances your um, like stove your microwave it like makes it shiny it takes away fingerprints and they are so nice to have I know there's different brands I'm gonna link the ones on Amazon but like I said like if you have windows and mirrors in your house or glass and I know you do you definitely need to grab a pack of these 
This next product is not Amazon. I don't think you can get it on Amazon. If you can, I'll link it, but I'll just link it in the description box. But it's the Jaws Cream Cleanser. So I could not do a must have um, cleaning products video and not put this in there. It is another miracle worker. Like say you have scratches on your cabinets. Say you have scratches on your quartz countertop or even granite. I feel like you notice it more in quartz. Maybe there's stains in your sink. This is going to clean it and it's non-toxic. I love it. It lasts forever. I clean everything with it. If you need to like get your sinks wider, like sometimes I'll just spray my sinks out and wipe them. But when I want them to look really clean and refreshed, I use this. You could use it in the shower. You can essentially use it anywhere because it's non-toxic. I mean, definitely test it on a spot if you're worried, but I'll just put it on a cloth and go around and wipe off like my counters, um, even my cabinets with white cabinets. Sometimes like black scuffs get on them or whatever. And I can just basically erase it away with this product. So we are gonna be talking about spring cleaning very soon or you guys are gonna be watching me spring clean. And so for the last three, possibly four years, I've used this same tool and I hook it up to my vacuum. Right here, it just slides onto any vacuum. And then you take this piece and you run it where your like dryer vent is, like where you get your lint and it picks up so much lint that you didn't know was in your dryer. And I've had two sorority sisters that have lost their homes to house fires because of their dryers. So like, when I say you need this, you need this. This isn't a wand. This isn't just like a fun gadget. This is like safety. You need something to clean out that dryer. Like I am so rigid. Like every time I start a load, I check it and clean it out. Stuff still slips through there. So like, this is something that's very, very affordable. I want to say it's like seven to $10. It's like under 10 bucks. I use it at least once a year, if not more, but you need to be <laughs> using it at least once. So definitely look into that. If you don't like gadgets like this, you don't want to have to use a vacuum with it i just bought this it came in a pack of two so you could keep one for later you could share it with a friend but i'll be using this in my um, spring cleaning video so we can test it out but you just put it down in that tray and like the lint will stick to this and then you'll just clean it off but this is another option so if you don't want to use it with a vacuum you can definitely try this but either way you need to pick up something like this to get that clean this next tool i've had for several years as well and i'm always shocked what i get with it and it's so basic, it's gray, so I love it, but it is super thin. Do you see how thin that is? And then it's on this little wand that you can like just keep pulling out. So you can make it super long like that. And it like kind of bends so you can get underneath things. But I always use this to clean underneath my appliances so I don't have to move them. Um, last year during spring cleaning, I did this under the fridge. <laughs> And like during the summer previous, we had like dropped a bowl and shattered it and I thought I had cleaned it all up. I like swiped this and when I brought it out, there was just shattered glass everywhere underneath my stove, underneath my refrigerator. Um, this thing got so much. So even like dust that's getting in the vents underneath, it's just gonna make your appliances run better. Um, it's gonna keep your house cleaner. You're gonna breathe better in your house. It's easy to store, it's small, it's affordable. So it's products like this that I really love. Like it makes it so much easier to clean because not every year, like you don't wanna pull out your fridge every year. Like I'd love to do it, I probably should do it. But if I can just stick this underneath there and swipe it all out, I'm definitely gonna choose this over working way harder <laughs> if I have to. And speaking of like swiping and cleaning and dust, I'm a horrible duster. I just am, my name's Ashley and I hate to dust. I never dust, I don't know what it is. My problem was I didn't have the right duster. And you guys all know about this product. You've probably had it for years, but like the Swiffer, the Swiffer makes life so much easier. Like why have I not owned this? I don't know what's going on. I finally just like bought it for some reason. Now I dust all the time. Like I dust all the time. I love it. It's easy. Um, I use it on appliances. I use it on TVs. I use it on my baseboards. I actually like clean my baseboards more than like once a year now with spray cleaning. I'll just go around and wipe things. You can tell I've been using it because look how nasty it is. <laughs> There's the clean side. But if you don't own one of these, once again, it's super affordable and it just life so much easier like I said even just like for TVs and different things like you can just pick it up and spend five minutes dusting and your house feels better so don't be like me and not dust your house if you're not dusting it's because you haven't found the right product and this is definitely what you need okay this next product is really good if you need to scrub areas maybe it's a shower maybe it's a bathtub or something like that and you either can't or don't want to like 
bend over and scrubbing. Like, you know, you may have a bad back, you may be older, you may just not like bending down to scrub a bathtub or shower and I don't blame you. So we grabbed this, it is adjustable right here. It's power operated, so you're just gonna press this button and it's gonna do all the scrubbing for you and you don't have to bend over. You just like scrub it out, so it's really nice. It comes with like four different brush heads. So if you need to get in the corner, um, they've got the round one, they've got all different ones, but I feel like this is just nice to have if you need something like that. If not, it's another gadget you have to like charge and store. So if you don't need it, you don't need it. But I feel like for the people that do, it's just really helpful and like everything's adjustable on it. So whatever angle you're needing to get, I just feel like it's super nice and convenient if you need something like this. Two other gadgets, I really like these because they're small and easy. So I recently bought this. We've had them for probably a month and you do go through them. Normally it comes with like a set of them, um, but you can clean like your toilets with this, like in hard and tight spots, like next to your stove. Um, and like I said, I just get several. So if you're gonna use one in your shower, you can just leave it in your shower. If you're gonna use one in your kitchen, you wanna leave it in your kitchen. You don't wanna like be mixing those up. But it, once again, it's one of those really narrow brushes. Like you can tell right there how thin it is. Um, so you can clean really tight spots. So if it's like grout, if you have like a glass shower door, you know, they have like those rigids, maybe even windows. So it's just really affordable, really easy to have. And then this one is like a TikTok one. I don't have TikTok, so it's like Instagram, but basically it bends and you can like clean around faucets in different areas because it's like adjustable. You know how it's always hard to like clean behind there. And what's nice is it comes as a set. So you can buy this one and get both of them to test out. I'm really excited to try this one during my cleaning video because this is one I haven't used yet. I have used this. We use this a lot. Um, but I'm really excited to test this one out and just see if it makes it so much easier to like clean around faucets and just different like rounded areas. I probably get asked every single day what vacuum I love. What do I love best? What's gonna hold up the longest? And I have so many answers for that. Cause it's like, if you're needing a good, like budget friendly vacuum, I feel like Hoover's the way to go. Um, I've had an LG for years, like for several years and loved it. Um, <clears throat> but recently for my birthday, Chase surprised me with a Dyson, which I haven't had since the very beginning of my channel. So like, when I started this channel, like, Five plus years ago, I had a Dyson um, and then I haven't had it since, but he got me one and I didn't know if I was gonna like it. But what makes this so special, in my opinion, is this attachment. So it comes with several attachments. I'll show you back here. I'll show you like a pop-up. But this one's for soft floors or, you know, like floors you can scratch. So like my wood floors, that's really nice. But what makes this amazing is it has this green light on it. So if you use it during the day, you can kind of see the dirt. If you turn the lights off and use this in the evening or at night, I am horrified every single time. And I can vacuum my floors every single night. And it just shows all the like pollen and dirt and fur and just all the things. It is incredible how dirty your floors get and you don't realize it. It makes you think twice about carpets because I'm like, I can't even see this. So this, this attachment is for like hard floor surfaces, but they have one for like carpets. They also have like a smaller one. Like if you just want to do like your car or your sectional or chair or anything, it also has like your standard um, smaller ones too because you can Use this on the stick. You can take this stick off and just use it as a handheld. I feel like it's very just convenient. This top right here is a very bendy, but like I said, I love the green light. Now, if you already have a vacuum and you're like, Ashley, I'm not buying a new vacuum, I'm gonna link it because someone invented a green light you can attach to yours. I don't know how well it stays on. I haven't tested it, <laughs> but if you need to get it and test it out on your floors, do it because it is actually, I mean, it is incredible. I just had no idea what a green light would do. Okay, the next reason I love this vacuum is I get asked all the time, like I need a vacuum where hair doesn't get stuck in the roller. And I'm like, sorry, it doesn't exist. I wish it did. If it did, I would sell it to you, but I don't wanna lie to you. It, it's not on the market. And then Chase gets me this one and guys, hair does not get stuck in this. Like he normally has to clean it out like once a week. He hasn't had to. And like if a little something small gets in there, it comes out, but it does not get wrapped up. And I've had this since November and I have not had an issue. So if you are sick of cleaning out your rollers for hair, maybe you have long hair, maybe you have dogs. Between me and Savannah, there's just a lot of hair and it gets wrapped up and this we have not had a problem with. So. Hands down, love the Dyson. I never thought I would say I love a Dyson. Like I'm an LG girl, so if you like the LG, stick with it. I get, I get it. Like I love my LG. 
but I have been blown away by this Dyson. So I'm gonna have it linked for you down below. I feel like this next product is a lot like the Swiffer. I feel like everybody's owned it but me and I may have owned it like several houses ago. Um, but I was just needing, once again, I think Tiger's just getting old, but we've had a lot of just like accidents lately. And I'm like, I need a way I can mop without like having to pull out the whole gadget. Like I have the best vacuum mop to share with you. It's gonna be next and I love it. But sometimes I don't need to fill up a whole tank just to clean up one little area. I just need something quick, something easy. I finally got the bone mop. Why <laughs> I have not owned this? I have no idea. It's so easy. I even bought extra attachments off Amazon. So like if there's an accident, I can rip this off and clean it, but I still have others. So that's just a good tip to have extra. I love that these are just like washable. You don't have to like keep rebuying them. I love that this is refillable. So I just have a big bottle when it gets low, like it is now, I can just fill it up. I keep this in our vacuum closet. I just pull it out, use it, clean it, put it up. Um, sometimes if I'm just cleaning an area, like maybe I'm just cleaning my entryway or just cleaning the mud room, I don't need to pull out like everything to clean it. I can just vacuum and use this. It's been super helpful. I love even the solution with it. But like I said, if you're gonna grab it, I would grab um, the replacement heads just so while you're cleaning it, if you need others, you have backup. Okay, let me start off by saying I have tested every wet, dry vacuum mop, whatever you wanna call it. It vacuums the mops at the same time that's on the market. I have tried them all. And over the years, they have just gotten better and better and better but there was always something off. Like I would use it and I'm like, I love it, but like this one just puts a little bit too much on the floor. This one doesn't put enough. Like I would always have like two to three in my garage at a time for different cleaning levels. I'm like, okay, I'll use this one for that reason or I'll use that one for this reason until I tried this one. There is something, I think it's called the floor mopper. I don't know, it's got a weird name, floor washer, something like that. I'm gonna link the exact one. This is so nice. Like it solves every problem that you've ever needed. We have a lot of floors in our house. It would take me forever to vacuum and then mop our entire house. Plus I feel like by the time you're done vacuuming, like dogs have come in, kids have ran through and you go to mop and there's still stuff on your floors and it's like, I don't know, like piling up. Um, it's so nice, it's all in one. I feel like it puts out the perfect amount that I feel like there's enough solution to clean my floors, but it's not too wet that I'm worried on my engineered hardwood that it's gonna like mess them up. I just feel like the technology is amazing with this one. And like I said, I've tested out so many and I use this every single week in my house. It saves me so much time. It is so easy to use. The self-cleaning mode is like untouchable. Like they all have this like self-cleaning, but this one like, is powerful and it runs through like all the pipes. Like, I don't know, it really gets it clean. I feel like all my other mops, when I would put it in the closet, I would still smell it. Like I'd run the self-cleaning cycle every time and I still do, but it would have a smell, like old water mildewy smell. That has not happened with this one and I've had it several months. So to me, this is just like the clear winner. So if you're needing something like this, this is definitely the way to go. All of them work. So if there's a more budget friendly one, if there's one on sale, they're all amazing, but I feel like this one just stands out among everything else. Next off, Goo Gone. I feel like you can't have a house or an apartment or whatever you have without Goo Gone. I'm almost out on this one, but I have a brand new one in the cabinet. Like I don't run out of this. So it's really good for sticky labels. If you get stuff on your floor, I don't know. We're constantly grabbing Goo Gone. Savannah's always asking like, where's the Goo Gone? I need it. I recently found this, like I'll link it on Amazon, but I think I got it at Home Goods. but they have Goo Gone for tile and grout. So if you have like a buildup on your tile, maybe there's stuff in your grout and you don't wanna have to like scrub and scrub and scrub, like this just like softens it and makes it so much easier. So if you haven't tested out Goo Gone products, definitely grab a few and just try them out. Guys, I think we did it. Like that's mainly all the cleaning products that I use. I'm sure there's still a few. If you watch my spring cleaning video, you may see different ones that I'm not thinking of. This second, but you're gonna see almost all of these while I'm cleaning throughout the year, spring cleaning or just normal cleaning. Um, I feel like these are just like my go-to products that I have on hand. So when something happens, I have what I need to clean it. And I feel like they're all amazing. They're all affordable. I get like the vacuum maybe a little bit more in the shampooer, but other than that, everything's like super well-priced and it just makes cleaning easier. And that's just what we need. Cleaning's not always fun for people. I know I enjoy it. Like it's very therapeutic to me. But if you don't, I feel like just make it as easy as you can or as simple as you can. So if you need to just grab Dawn and Powdered Tide, you're gonna get a long way with that as well too. But 
Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to help you get your house clean and decorated and organized and all the things because that's what we'd love to do here. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Next time.